Welcome to your instructional writing session with Mrs. Welding. Before we get started, let's have a look at what does the word instruction mean. Instructions are steps written for someone who needs to know how to do something. Today we are going to look at how to write a recipe. Yummy! What is a recipe? A recipe is a set of instructions that make sure we use the right amount of ingredients to bake, cook, or prepare a delicious dish. You might wonder how do we write a recipe? Let's have a look. Step 1. We're going to write down a title. The title will tell us what we will be making. Step 2. We're going to note down the equipment that we will need. Things such as mixing bowls, spoons, measuring cups. Step 3. We're going to write down the ingredients. These are the items that we will use to make our dish. Lastly, step 4. We can write down the instructions. Instructions are the steps on how to add all of these ingredients together to make something really yummy and delicious. Remember that most of our instructions are going to start with bossy words. We also call them imperative verbs. They are words like stir, chop, mix, sprinkle, slice, measure, add, and there's loads more. Remember when you write your instructions to number them and to write them in the order that you need to complete them. Let's look at the draft that we can use to plan our recipe. First, on the top, we are going to write what we are making. That will be our title. Then we will add our equipment and ingredients, the things that we will need. Lastly, we are going to write our instructions. Remember to number them. You can start your instructions with a posse word, then asking how much of what you will need and what you will do with it. Now I'm going to share one of my favorite recipes with you. You call this recipe a cake in a mug. The equipment that you will need for this recipe will be a large mug, spoon and a microwave. The ingredients are 4 tablespoons of self-raising flour, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 2 tablespoons of cacao, 1 egg, 3 tablespoons of milk, 3 tablespoons vegetable oil, half tablespoon vanilla essence and 1 tablespoon milk chocolate chips. Lastly are the instructions. The instructions are written in 5 easy steps. Step 1. In a large mug, place all the dry ingredients and mix them well with a spoon. Use the spoon to grind all of the cacao against the side of the cup so there are no lumps. Step 2. Add the egg and beat it a little on the top of the dry ingredients to break the yolk. Step 3. Add the oil, milk and vanilla and mix until well combined. Step 4. Stir the chocolate chips in and put it into the microwave on a high for 3 minutes. Step 5. Serve with a nice big scoop of ice cream. Now we are going to watch a video. Let's see if you can guess what your activity for today is going to be about. Once upon a time, there was a lady who lived in a little white cottage in the countryside. This lady really liked to bake cookies. Today I'll bake something extra nice. Something with flour, sugar, and spice. So she got out her red mixing bowl and her big wooden spoon. And... Oh, oh! Can I stir? Reggie, it's just a story. Oh. I forgot. She mixed up the dough until it was just right. Then she rolled it out with a rolling pin. This dough is so flat and it's soft like butter. I think it's time for my cookie cutter. In a few minutes, the cookie was done. Let's get you dressed. What fun! Look at the cookie I've got on my pan! What shall I call him? Gingerbread Man! Gingerbread Man, you're good enough to eat! I'll work my way up, starting with your feet. 
All of a sudden, the gingerbread man jumped off the pan, and before the lady knew it, he had run right out of the cottage. The lady ran after him, shaking her spoon. Where are you going? Come right back. Turn around, cookie. I want a snack. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me and the gingerbread man. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me and the gingerbread man. Yes, you're right. Today, your task is going to be to create your own yummy cookie recipe. Let's look at some tips to remember when we write our instructions. First, give your cookie a name. Step 2. Write down your equipment that you're going to use. Step 3. List your ingredients. Have fun! Maybe add some unusual items. Step 4. Number your instructions and make sure that they are in the correct order. Step 5. Draw a picture of your end product. Here's some useful tips to remember. You can try to recipe in the present tense. Remember to use your bossy words, also known as imperative verbs. Remember to give your recipe a topic and to use topic words. Use clear descriptions. When you are finished, please remember to share your work.